name is Stacy Flowers and I am a student of Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University and on a journey to become 100% debt free. I am currently, I currently have a debt of $184,677.39. I'm on baby step number one to save $500. And that is because my income is under $20,000. I make anywhere between $1,000 and $1,200 a month. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make my kitchen sink red beans and rice meal. So um, the kitchen sink red beans and rice, I think that's just the title that me and my family made up. Um, essentially, all it is is you put everything in it but the kitchen sink. And the reason why you do that is like when you're at towards like the end of the month and you're like running out of food and stuff or you're running out of ingredients, I guess, um, and you still need to prepare food. Like this is the place where you just put the last little bit of broth, that last little can of tomatoes, whatever sort of items that you have left over so that they don't die. You just go ahead and pop them in the dish that you're making. Well, the last time I did it, it was so good that I was like, you know what, I just need to make this as a regular recipe because this is a really good way to have a meatless red beans and rice and i haven't i wasn't able to find like a like rib like real creole red beans and rice are delicious and i hadn't been able and i and i haven't been able to find like an equivalent like vegan and the only reason why i say vegan is because i feel like vegans recipes sometimes have a little bit more flavor or vegetarian or meatless red beans and rice i haven't been able to find something that still had those like great marinated flavors with a little bit of heat i just hadn't i wasn't able to find it and stumbled upon it by making my kitchen sink red beans and rice so i'm going to show you guys what those ingredients are so that that way you can enjoy a meatless red beans and rice meal that is budget friendly so if you are interested in that please keep watching so we have our very large crock pot. We in we dump in our beans that have been rinsed and cleaned and soaked overnight. If you guys remember from my grocery haul, these were the first beans that I decided to smoke and it is about a pound. Then I have a coconut milk soup base. This is probably a secret ingredient. It made it really like creamy and like thicker that you get with that like really nice creole red beans and rice um I'm, I'm assuming that this was the secret ingredient that made it have that extra just something in there that's like hmm this isn't supposed to be in there but it's so good base and i i think that it matters that it's a soup base i don't normally cook with coconut milk um but it says it on the box like soup base so i don't know if this would have the same consistency if you used a um just a regular coconut milk then instead of doing all water we're gonna do some chicken broth i guess that makes it non-vegan non-vegetarian doesn't it because it's the broth oops well i will make sure i edit that out so we're gonna add about one and a half cups of chicken broth and again when i had prepared this i just had these ingredients left over this time i'm i'm choosing to make it then we're going to add just a little bit of liquid smoke again because i want these flavors to be amazing i'm going to add a little bit of roasted bell pepper i think I, this also gave it just i just i can't describe the flavor of this um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna show you sort of like what the one looks like so I'm gonna put about three of these in here and I had this for a while and I couldn't figure out what to do with these roasted peppers and adding them to this was, was amazing then I'm gonna do a little bit of adobo this again just kicks up the flavors you just want to sprinkle that all over and just remember you are cooking a very big pot of beans so season to your preference um i don't necessarily want to give you measurements because everybody has different taste buds I'm gonna drop three bay leaves in there i would also say that this is a key ingredient so the three key ingredients ingredients are going to be the bay leaves the roasted peppers and the coconut milk soup base. I think those are what really kicked it up a notch. Then I'm gonna do minced onion. I'm gonna do the dried version because that's what I had done originally. 
And I'm pretty generous with this because we don't have any fresh veggies in here. Any fresh seasonings, if you will. Smoked paprika, just because I like paprika. What you'll find when you're making your kitchen soup beans or soups or whatever is that you naturally gravitate towards certain seasonings because those are your seasonings. So keep those in mind when you're preparing your kitchen sink version because if you put your flavors together, it'll typically have the taste that you want. Now I'm gonna add about a cup of water just to cover those beans. You may need. So the beans are not covered, so I'm gonna add another half cup of the broth. So that means that you would have had two full cups of chicken broth and one cup and a half of water. Delicious swirl around just to make sure all your beans are covered. Um, I'm not adding any salt to this because remember I soaked my beans in salt so they are already salted. Stir it, stir it, stir it. The aromas that's coming, even though it's not cooked, should be friendly to your palate. If you're not smelling anything, you probably don't have enough seasoning in it. And you need to add something. So I'm gonna put a lid on this and put it on low. Okay, so we are back. It is now about 10 hours later. Gave them a little taste test, set them out to cool, and now we are going to bag. I just kind of wanted to show you guys the consistency oh it smells so good um it's a little drier than what i normally have and i think it's just because i cooked a little bit over the amount of beans but now i'm going to do a portion here for the refrigerator so this will just go in the refrigerator to munch on for the week And then I do the freezer bag so that that way I'm not eating the same, the same type of beans every single day. I can change it up just a little bit. Probably about three fourths cup, or maybe about a cup, three fourths cup, cup, three fourths, something around there in each bag. Really nice portion that is enough for me to have a, um, nice dinner over rice or a very nice lunch or a nice dinner excuse me and a very nice lunch and now we're just gonna get some of this goody goodness so we want those juices to freeze with our bags as well and these are seasoned different than the black beans because these are seasoned more as like a proper meal whereas the black beans are meant to be layered in other dish <music> 